this bitch didn't hit this nigga one time too many and he know what the fuck going on. So he like, fuck it. I'm calling the law because I know what the fuck finna happen next. What I was telling that nigga through the screen was my nigga, leave the fucking house. Get the fuck out. Because that bitch is going to do something, dog. And before you know it, man, it's not going to be no one-sided fucking story. And plus the fact this hoe still got time to do something to her fucking self. My nigga, we not going to sit back and act like these hoes do not be fucking themselves up, dog, for the fucking law. Bitch, you know you do. And this is, as in, are you fucking serious? Fuck with that. I was talking to my nigga Big C, man. Shout out to Big C, shout out to Mike. Shout out to Phil. I gotta put out that fucking interview we did. Another fucking interview I had, too. It's like I was talking to a girl or some shit. Oh, no, it was that fucking, uh, it was the, the stalker bitch. Got to put out that fucking phone call. Um, right before I got, like, sick and shit. But, um, I put that out after a while. Don't worry about that shit. Look here. Um, I was talking to him and shit, man, and, uh, we came across the, um, the, the, uh, the subject of whether or not it's snitching. When you call the police on your girl, your girl acting crazy, she's trying to fight you and shit like that, she hitting you in the head and all that shit like this, instead of punching a hole in the mouth and knocking this whole shit out, you know what I'm saying, is it snitching for you to call it like, hey, I'm going to take initiative and let me call the police over here and make sure and get some, you know what I'm saying, some, uh, some assistance over here, would that be snitching? Um, of course fucking not. Um, I guess I had to, like, you know what I'm saying? I had to pose the question some type of way. Pose it. I, uh, you know, like, give a, give a, op but ain't no option here. I, to be honest, I really thought that this was common fucking knowledge. Um, that you can be the most gangster of gangster nigga. And you can make them motherfuckers come do their job if a bitch get out of line in any other way. Because that's the only thing that you'll be able to do within legal means. If you go anywhere, any further, you know what I'm saying? It's over with for you. It's over with for you. We just, we just saw this shit with your homeboy, um, Raheem, Devon. what the fuck the dude name is uh, from the fucking, uh, fucking team do we play for? Some fucking football player, dog. Kareem Hunt. You know what I'm saying? We just seen that shit with him. Fuck around trying to play with folk, dog. You can't play with these hoes, dog. You gonna lose. They gonna, they gonna, whatever the fuck they gonna do, and it's, they gonna believe them. It's just, it just, it is what it is. Down here in Alabama, it's some shit like, um, whoever called first. This shit so prevalent down here, they got a rule to where whoever called the police first, the other person go to jail shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like on that type of shit, whatever. So, like, motherfuckers is arguing, setting up, and watching the phone. You got to do, like, three things at one time. You know what I'm saying? Listen to what this motherfucker's saying. Try to come up with a, a weird response. Have your shit up. Try to see how you want to hit this motherfucker. And, goddamn, watch that motherfucking phone. Because if that motherfucker hit that bitch first, that's your ass. That's your ass. No, and especially like my nigga look and you know, this is why I tell you niggas, this is why I tell you niggas, this is why I tell you niggas, dog, get your shit together. Until you get your shit together, dog, it ain't no hoes, dog. It ain't no hoes. Until you have reached success, it's the three S's. It's the three S's for you. Until you reach success, it's the three S's. And you can take that three S shit all the way up 
past success. You know what I'm saying? Depending on, you can take that shit as far as you want to take it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where you're going to reach your potential. Away from people with a clear mind and a, you know what I'm saying, a clear body. Now, you can take it further with eating right and shit like that, but I just keep it to the things that you can really, like, it's pretty, it's, it's like, it's really, you know what I'm saying? It's easy because being sober just don't spend money. Being celibate is like, no, bitch, I'm not, I'm not going to put, I'm not going to put forth the effort to even, you know what I'm saying, to make you think that I like you enough and all that bullshit you got to put up, you know what I'm saying, to, you know what I'm saying, whole, you know, you got to make a whole feel like she, you got to lie to a whole, just to fuck a bitch, you know, like the fuck, come on, dog, and, and that's what you got to do when you down bad. And that whole solitude shit, you know you don't want to be around them folks no way. And the only reason that you would be around those people is because you can probably smoke for free or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people do enjoy other people's company or whatever like that because it's, it's a lot easier to deal with shit when, you know what I'm saying, people are around and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It, just make, it, it don't make it seem as bad, but that's the reason why you're never getting to the true issue. Is because you're never actually feeling how fucked up you are. Because there's always people around softening the blow. If you could feel the pain that you're actually in right now, you would immediately treat the wound. You know what I'm saying? If you could feel how, like, if you could feel how you look right now and how other people see you, you would immediately, you know what I'm saying, assess the issue. But because everybody around and you just feeling the vibe and all this, you smoking and all that shit like that, lying to a fat hoe and, and you know, you just, you just think it's all love. You just in a fucking dream world. Whilst everyone that you're around using them to feel better is using, them, they're using you to feel better because they can look down on you. And they're laughing at you. But... The reason why I'm telling you that is because one of the situations where you will have no leverage is in this whole, you know what I'm saying, calling the police shit is if you got a bullshit ass warrant. You know what I'm saying? You want to run. So there ain't no call the police for you. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to, and that's, I think that's a, that's a big misunderstanding that, that we get. From people who aren't in the streets. You think that the definition of a gangster is an outlaw. You know what I'm saying? Like the wild, wild west. Like police and gangsters don't mix. As soon as they get to each other, they have a fucking shootout. Like it's not fucking like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only time that you can't come in contact with a police officer is, you know what I'm saying? Like when you have a fucking warrant. That means you don't have your shit together. So... You have to be careful in those situations because a bitch. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to explain some shit to you, man. A bitch will. She she sizing you up, my nigga. As dumb as a bitch can seem, dog. These bitches know. What boxes to make sure they check the fuck off for their leverage. He don't got a call. He don't got nowhere to stay. He has warrants. Yeah. Human deal though. Human deal though. That's him. Yeah, it's all good. I can use him. I can use him. You know what I'm saying? Like I got, I got a position for him, and I can be rough with this nigga because he don't have shit. And this is the reason. On the whole side, this is why I, I don't have too much heart for a hoe. Because bitch, you know that you did that shit. Like hoe, you know that's how the fuck you said this shit. Like you know that's why you with the nigga you with right now. You're not with that nigga for no other, like, look at the, look at the nigga that you with. 
The only reason that you're still with this, and it's like, damn, bitch, look how fucking down bad and fucked over you is. You still with a nigga that's supposed to get you over a 30-day process, which is, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked up, you know what I'm saying, uh, lonely, you know, cold, just want somebody to snuggle with. No, it's really supposed to be like a, maybe a week type shit, but I give you 30 days, just, I'm gonna fuck off for a month, you know what I'm saying, just fuck it, you know what I'm saying, but you didn't made this type of situation into a whole three year fucking relationship, what kind of bitch are you, <laughs> you give, not only do you give, but this nigga expects for you to give him an allowance. Almost daily, not fucking weekly. When you get paid, it's daily. Daily. Try to get me a blunt. And you know what he's spending up. Try to get me a try to get me a twin sheet. You let this nigga snort coke in your house. You can talk to him all kind of crazy that you want to, but you got a real deal bag head in your fucking house. When I say a bag head, because uh, niggas who snort coke uh, could get offended and shit like that. And niggas that, niggas that hit the bag, you know, they, yeah, uh, uh, niggas that, because it is niggas who hit the bag that, you know what I'm saying, got more money than niggas that smoke weed and shit like that. It's, it's all about how you do what you do. But what I'm saying is, You know it look different. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't got no money coming in. No hustler by himself. He a junkie. On the run. Nowhere to go. Of course, no car. Dirty. How the fuck is you dirty and you live with a bitch? This whole, she can't even give you no clothes because you just still dirty. Like you come like that. Just on the bag, just lost like a motherfucker. I'm I, I'm I'm off subject, but I'm I'm just thinking about this shit, man. Like I mean, you need to go to jail. You need to go to jail. But let's get back to the fucking point. Um she get you in that type of situation and she going dog, it's not going to be long before she start putting hands on you. Like, uh, she going she gonna to come with that crazy talk probably after the first 30 days. After the first 30 days, she going to come with that crazy talk, you know what I'm saying, calling out your name and shit like that because she understands. Like, this nigga homeless. You know what I'm saying? I, I done fed this nigga for 30 days. Like, she treats you like a fucking shelter animal, no car, nigga, I didn't let this nigga drive in the car, whatever like that, this nigga ain't going no fucking well, gave this nigga money, so she come with the, the crazy talk after 30 days, but then after that, and she see you don't leave, she come with the hand play, then she come with the hand play, hand play, because she didn't got you a phone, you know what I mean, And but you ain't see it, that was just because she wanted to be able to go through that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, so now she going through your phone crazy. I'm trying like, nigga, you just in the house. I'm trying you just in. The, I'm trying you just sit down on some shit. Like you just sitting down. Trying, I can't even think of no fucking a scenario or no shit like that. I'm just I'm just looking at nigga just sitting down. And she could you don't even gotta be playing no game or doing nothing. Like you could be like sitting down by the kitchen watching Wheel of Fortune on some shit. And just she just come snatch your fucking phone out your hand. And just throw that shit at you. Before she even looked through that bitch. Like, throw that bitch at you. Who the fuck is Keisha? What the fuck? You didn't even look at the fucking phone. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. And I mean, and, and like, what the fuck you gonna do? Like, you didn't already played all your cards. Like, you gonna, you gonna huff and puff? And that's, and that's really where it come in at, like... That hoe is going to get her, and understand, bitch, 
if you've ever done that to it, I don't give a fuck what your reason is. If a nigga was down on his luck and you took advantage of that shit, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. He was on, I don't give a fuck about nothing. I don't, bitch, if you did that to a nigga, that's why you still doing bad. That's because you still in that mind state. You will still do that to a nigga. You know what I'm saying? The reason why you haven't came up out of, you know what I'm saying, where, like, your situation, you still haven't found happiness and shit like that because your happiness comes in a package of, of comes by way of a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I always, I always told bitches, man, I always told hoes, like, bitch, I'm, I'm mad at you, bitch, because I'm jealous of you. Like, all the fuck you want. Like, you'll be happy as fuck right now if all I wanted was to be with you. That's all you want is, like, a fucking relationship. You would be straight by that. You don't have to have a certain call, a certain status, certain job, a, a certain call. You know what I'm saying? Uh, did I say car already? I think I said house. Certain money in the bank. You just want a fucking working relationship. That's all. And that, to me, that's the SpongeBob standard. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the SpongeBob effect. What is, and then, but then you, as you go through life and you see how hard it is to have a successful working relationship, you see like that, that might not be such a low standing goal. That might be a really high thing to shoot for. A working fucking relationship? Are you serious? But I, I, I would still say that, like, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I want all this over here. Like, you want something that is right here. You can get that shit anywhere, but you can't get it anywhere. But, you know, but what, bitch, what you're wanting is a relationship and shit like that. So the reason why you haven't got that is because you're still in that same mindset that you were in when you did that to that nigga that was down on his luck. That you treated like a human deal though. You know what I'm saying? And, and because you would do something like that, that's why if you if if you're even that type of person that would do some shit like that, like nah, you ain't never gonna be straight. The fuck kind of person are you? I just want I just want to have somebody that, that you know they call that shit house dick, home dick or some shit like that. They don't want some dick at the house. As long as they got some dick at the house, they straight. They straight. They don't need shit up. They straight. They'll be just fucking fine. Some dick in the house, they'll be just fucking fine. But, as I was saying, my nigga, a whole gon' t- and that's, uh, and uh, let's go to the video footage. Um, had a bitch, man, out there in, uh, what that was, I think that was Memphis. Memphis, had a bitch out there in Memphis. Um, and she, uh, Man, I, I had that video, and I really wish I would have put that video. I might have put that video. I don't. I don't think I put it up. But um, I wanted to put that video up because it's exactly this shit. Um, she go live and she calling this nigga. When when the live come on, she saying, "Oh, police ass nigga, police ass nigga, look at this police ass nigga, y'all." And the nigga like, "Yep, yep, so is, so is, uh huh, yep, so is, so is." Like, it's police and nigga, uh, police, you been, and he like, you been hitting me, you, you didn't hit me eight times, bro, you didn't hit me eight times, bro, I don't give a fuck, nigga, you know, all this bullshit right here, and then like, you can tell, like, this bitch, whatever the fuck happened, this bitch didn't hit this nigga one time too many, and he know what the fuck going on, so he like, fuck it, I'm calling the law, because I know what the fuck finna happen next. What I was telling that nigga through the screen was my nigga, leave the fucking house. Get the fuck out. Because that bitch is going to do something, dog. And before you know it, man, it's not going to be no one-sided fucking story. And plus the fact this hoe still got time to do something to her fucking self. My nigga, we not going to sit back and act like these hoes do not be fucking themselves up, dog. For the fucking law. Bitch, you know you do. Bitch, if you haven't done it, you came close to doing that shit, bitch. Trying to get a nigga locked up. 
And these the same fucking bitches, dog. Trayvon Martin. Yeah. Uh, Black, uh, please don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. Black Lives Matter. But bitch, you calling the motherfucking police. Not even for me fucking you up. But because you mad by this other hoe. He hit me. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? Meanwhile, nigga in the room the whole time. Police kick the door down, nigga sleep, whatever like that. Shoot a nigga while he sleep. Anything might happen. Ain't this how it happened now? Niggas get killed while they in the house for no reason? Is that impossible? I was telling the nigga to all, get the fuck out the house, man. Get away from this bitch. But she played him. She put the fucking live on to embarrass him. To embarrass him. And this, you know.